Hi guys and welcome to this weekly episode series. I'm Axel Mulat. Are you ready to migrate your blogger site to WordPress self-hosted site? If you're ready now, I'll be show you how to migrate your blogger to WordPress and step by step. The items you can migrate from blogger to WordPress is only the post title, content, images of the posts, and the post categories or label. You can't migrate the pages, so you will be add these pages manually to your new WordPress self-hosted site. Okay, let's get started. First thing to do, if you set up your blogger site to the custom domain, you should be remove the custom domain first. Here, if you set up a custom domain, for example, you should be remove this custom domain and save this to the notepad as a reference for the future. Save that and remove this custom domain. And also, after remove the custom domain on your blogger site, you should be update your GoDaddy domain. In the GoDaddy Manage domain, go to this Manage DNS and remove the blogger settings here. There have a blogger settings here from your blogger custom domain. And to remove that settings, you should be change this name servers from default to custom and enter the web hosting name server here. I purchased a web hosting in Stablehost, so I enter my name server here. Copy and save. This is from your web hosting on your WordPress. And after you set up the name servers here, you should be set up a new domain for your new WordPress self-hosted site to your web hosting. And the end is this. Okay, so your new WordPress self-hosted is live. If in case, if you set up a custom domain on your blogger settings. Okay, if you want to learn about WordPress, just watch my video here in my YouTube channel, WordPress Tutorial for Beginners. You can learn uh, WordPress in step-by-step -step here on this playlist. Okay, let's migrate now. From this, go to your dashboard and go to, we'll be install a plugin on this. Add new. And this plugin, Blogger 301 Redirect. Now activate. And click this settings. Or here, blogger to one redirect. And the next step is install the blogger import plugin. You can install via this menu, import, and install blogger. Click install now. Click this run importer. And we'll be back to blogger. First thing to do here is back up your template. Back up your template. Download your template. Save here. And in this section, Teams in the mobile, under the mobile, there have a gear icon here. Click this gear icon and set this to no. No and save. Okay, we already back up the template. And let's go to settings and go to others, I guess. And back up content, go to others, settings, others, and back up content. Save to your computer. I save to my desktop. And import the content here this is the blogger content 
the items will be imported is the post title images in the post categories upload the file and now just select a username and submit okay the import is done all done have fun let's reload this page reload okay the content has imported let's back to the post all posts and delete this hello world and let's edit this reload and this is the post and uh, you should be add this manually in WordPress now insert a read more tag added and the categories are automatically selected and a featured image already uploaded automatically if you set the featured image and blogger from the start and the content hit update reload okay you should be remove this now remove because you already upload automatically the featured image update and reload okay guys you should do that in your old posts this is the content and the categories already there click this and here this is the content migrated from blogger your blogger site now guys if you set up a custom domain name in blogger they added the triple w right so you should add a triple w here too on your domain go to settings general and add a triple w here if in case you set up a custom domain name and blogger we should match the domain name from blogger to wordpress the root domain name save changes and you will be logged out and i'll be logged in again okay let's back to the home page and now the triple w is added now guys we'll be back to blogger the next task here is we should be redirect the feeds no we should be add a uh, sorry add a uh, html redirect okay this page we can do this in blogger we can do this in blogger you should be check this check this only and copy this copy from method one save changes and we will be back to blogger back to team and edit html we already back up the team right so we'll be remove this and save save team and we will be back to now it's saved this is already saved in blogger and the next task here is set up a reader back to your feed in blogger you should add a triple w on that go to settings other and uh, add a post redirect url feed this is your new wordpress self-hosted site save settings and now guys we should be match the url from your blogger to wordpress 
Okay, you should be paste this to the permalink. Copy this, copy. And go to permalinks. First, guys, choose plain first. Plain, save changes. And after choosing this plane, go to custom structure and paste that. This domain will be matched from your blogger URL. Save changes. And now guys, let's check. Let's check. Reload this page. And let's check this. Now guys, as you see, the URL of your blog post is the same from your blogger site. We should be match the URL from your blogger to avoid losing traffic, the triple W, the site name, and the post URL is the same from your blogger. For non-custom domain name like yourblog.blogspot.com, your traffic not gonna be lost too because we set up a custom 301 redirect to your team. So all links on your blogspot domain name it will be redirect to your WordPress site. So don't worry about that. Okay, the migration is done. If I visit this page, it will be redirect to the iCraftWP.com, which is my new WordPress self-hosted site. Any post from my blogger website, it will be redirect to this WordPress self-hosted site. Okay guys, the next step is go to your Google Search Console. If you migrate a blogger based on blogspot.com domain like this, just leave this domain. All links on this blogspot.com will be redirect to your new WordPress site. What you will do is add a new property and add the new WordPress site here. Add confirm the site. Add a domain, add a new sitemap, and new robots.txt from WordPress. If you wish, without W, that's fine. Because you came from the .blogspot.com domain. Okay? If you set up a custom domain name in Blogger, obviously, they already have a triple W. What you will do here is delete the sitemap and update the sitemap from your WordPress site. For example, this is the domain with triple W from custom domain blogger. Go to your sitemaps. Check this. Delete these sitemaps because these sitemaps came from blogger. For example, Delete and after you delete that, add a new sitemap from your new WordPress self-hosted site. And after the sitemap, update your robots.txt. If you have a question, guys, fill in the comment box section and I'll be respond as soon as I can. If you like this video, Migration Blogger to WordPress, please like and share to other people you know, especially in social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. To learn more about sitemap and robots.txt for WordPress self-hosted site, be sure to watch my WordPress plugin series, Setting Up WordPress Yoast SEO Plugin. This video covers sitemap and robots.txt for WordPress self-hosted site. And by the way guys, I change the schedule of my new video every week and every Tuesday. So see you next week, Tuesday for my new video. Please subscribe to this channel to get video like this. See you next week guys.